it's another day being quite tired again you know i feel like the um the nine o'clock training sessions are really starting to take a toll on everyone it's not ideal you see the astro is booked out all the way up to nine o'clock for the past month now month and a bit we've been training at nine at night so we're looking forward to going back on the pitch now like you know obviously we need to do it because we don't have floodlights on our pitch but at the same time, like it's not ideal that we have to train on an AstroTurf pitch at 9 o'clock at night. And the league has already started, you know, but it is what it is, like this is what we have to do. But you would be tired, like, you know, a lot of people are getting ready for bed at that time. Like, gotta go into town, we're gonna get a few things. Yeah, we're rocking the I Love New York mug. I had to use skimmed milk in my coffee because we're out of normal milk. I don't know, is that a bad omen for the day? I hope not. And also today I need to shave my beard. It's gotten really, really bad now and I keep putting it off every single day. But I'm gonna put it in the video now that I'm going to shave my beard today. Yeah, I have to do it today because it just looks like, it looks absolutely terrible. It's Glenn. Just got the video done for today. Kind of like the new schedule I have now is where I used to do the video the day before, edit the video the day before and release it. Now what I do is I do video I'm releasing on the day is being edited in the morning. It only takes me about two, three hours. As I said, the vlogs are very not heavily edited. They're really small edits, just cutting up the clips, throwing a few things at the beginning and the end. Now for other videos, that would take like two or three days. But for these vlogs, that's the nice thing about the vlogs. Main thing with the vlogs, and I, I'd say this to any person starting YouTube or anything like that, every one that's heard of quality over quantity but I actually think at the very beginning when you're trying to grow like the main thing is to upload nearly every day and being consistent so I take way a smaller of the quality for quantity that kind of way that's my plan I don't think anyone asked or cares we made it I'm not the biggest fan of town to be honest I like to get in and out as fast as I can gonna take a look at this right so we got the me to you yoke they say here it has all the shops that you can and cannot go to I'm gonna try and plan it out now I just need like running gear it would either be like boards direct or Elvery's I think does it do Elvery's Oh fuck off, I can't see Elvery's. Oh yes, I do see Elvery's. Because Elvery's have good sports stuff like. So basically I'm just trying to get like waterproof pants for like when I'm training on the wall on the ball wall or something like that and like more leggings and shit. I have one to Jorah spend like so there's, there's definitely more stuff I can get, but I think that's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna walk straight towards Elvery's. That's what I wanna do and then get the fuck out of here. I also need like chicken and eggs. I I was so stupid. Yesterday I put the eggs in a in the freezer. I just don't know. I I, I wasn't thinking at all. Throughout the day when I was getting stuff out of the freezer, I was looking at the eggs. I was like, who put the eggs in the freezer like that's i don't think you can do that uh it turns out it was me who put the eggs in the freezer and the eggs all broke in there i don't know what happened um just remember seeing your trout today i was like why who put the eggs in the thing but it was actually me oh by the way i'm not vlogging in public uh, i'm not that guy I, I don't like vlogging in public i might get a few clips with my phone i'm just i'm not bringing out the camera or anything like that i'm just not, not brave enough yet and i don't think i ever will be so uh yep let's do it When I say it, that could not have gone any better. Oh my God, unbelievable. Just like I said, I hate to be in town. I kind of just really like to get in and out. I was in and out in about 20 minutes, not even. Went to Elvery Sports, found exactly what I wanted. So there were these two pants. I'll show you when I get home. Two pants and one pair of leggings. Cost it about, I think it was 91 euro or something like that. Carrot cover for everything. Oh, unbelievable. Like, got all the food there. Pretty successful, I won't lie. So I'm half and half now, right? I got tuna, right? But I have a funny story with the tuna. When I was in college, right? Uh, I used to live in Parton Square. Where it's just like a accommodation kind of but like to save money like literally all i'd eat was like tuna and pasta that's all i ate one thing i learned you know, literally like one of the only things i learned in college was that it was like some sports degree or whatever after training your like blood vessels or whatever the fuck they're called arteries or veins they're like widened because obviously it's trying to pump more oxygen around the body and they say in that time is the best time to get food into you for recovery geez i've been doing that ever since but that's what i used to do i used to come home from training like i've emma took a video of me one day or so Funny. Straight away from home from training, I'd whip out a can of tuna. Can you imagine that? I whip out a fork and a can of tuna like this. No, like I whip that out and uh, I just start. I just start eating it in front of Emma. I remember like slurping away the tuna juice and everything. Oh my god, it was it was disgraceful. I don't know what I was on. It was so funny. That was like my form of recovery. Was he <laughs> eating a can of tuna right after training? Like I did no stretch or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I got them. I, like usually tuna sandwiches and all that. I'm really trying to crack down on my eating food, man. I, I'm eating a lot of bad food. Look what came in the post today. It's only been about a few days and we've got we've got the new Harleys that I ordered. Very nice. What I'm nervous to feel is the weight. The weight of the Harley means everything to me. So let's get this shit cut. God, it smells so nice. Ah, cool, it says O'Reardon on it too. Nice. Fair fucks to that one, 
feels good, feels good. It's the weight. There's obviously pros and cons to the weight of a Harley, right? Pros of a light Harley is like you get to move just that small bit faster, you know? Con then of a light Harley is that it's harder to get a connection with the ball. Pros of the heavy Harley is that you can hit it hard without like putting as much effort into it. So like there's definitely pros and cons. Yeah, they look unreal. Like it's, I can see the Tipperary boss on it. It's different because like usually this is smoother. In Cork, it's a lot more edged and pointy and all that. Gripping's done nicely too. Be using that today. Right now I'm going to show you what I got in the shop. I fucking pray to God these fit. They're just pants just for the wet when it starts raining. The exact same pants, just a different color. Then I just got myself another pair of leggings. Uh, I have so many of them already. But yeah, they fit grand. Feel good in them. What a perfect shopping day. You love it when everything goes right. Oh, they fit good. They fit good. Obviously way tighter, but like that whole point there, they're keeping the heat in. Everything's working out perfectly. When will it go wrong is the question though, but we're going to Blarney now to go see Emma. Yeah, I'm just going to throw on what I'm going to wear when I'm pucking off the wall because straight after Blarney, I'll go straight to the ball wall, that kind of way. See, me and Emma are moving to Amsterdam or yeah, for or like two or three years, whatever, we're moving like permanently. Like, it's so funny, we're trying to save money. We're just trying not to spend on anything stupid now. Like, that's one thing we're really bad is that if, if we go for coffee or something, we just end up having like sandwiches and shit we're not supposed to. This time now she's adamant that like I'm only going for coffee. We're not having any sandwiches and shit like that. I said yeah yeah no I don't know what. We'll see we'll test it we'll see how that is. We really we really need to save money now. We're, we're stuck like you know. What I mean? We're here in Blarney. There's Emma. I said that um, when we usually get coffee we get food as well and all that. But I just, this time I don't think it's actually going to happen. So we're saving money. We're, we're doing good today. I don't, I don't want you to put the meatballs in. Yeah. <laughs> I won't. All right, like. Show me. So cute. All right, she had a few critiques about my YouTube channel. This is coming from now a YouTuber who has 150 subscribers, so I better start listening. Critique number one was that your titles are kind of boring. Yeah, as in it's not catchy, like the title, you don't read it and you're like, oh, I want to watch that. But you don't really give anything in the mm. title. And your thumbnails as well, need to. Mm. I just want to make a disclaimer that Michal's ice bath that he has, he you're supposed to have two to three bags of ice in an ice bath. Michal puts in maybe five cubes of ice in the max. <laughs> and you were so dramatic getting into the ice bath when it wasn't even one. Like it wasn't even freezing. <laughs> And you were so dramatic. <laughs> Alright, we're just hitting the ball wall now. This country gets on my tits sometimes, man. The second I leave the house, it starts lashing rain, man. Every time I want to go out running or anything like that, it's pissing rain. But anyway, enough complaining about the rain. There's no way in f I'm bringing my camera down there because it's lashing. I, ha I got this like plastic bag for my phone. I can guarantee you it's not gonna work. I'll just show you show you clips from my phone, surely. What can you do realistically? Like, you know, it's lashing. I only imagine what the weather's gonna be like now when I'm running later. That should be interesting. All I'm saying is, what is this f***ing weather, man? Ireland had a void of rain for about two months, and like, it's it's ever since that day it rained, it's just been non-stop. To be fair, we got a good day for our match, but besides that, after that, everything else has just been f***ing terrible. My asthma is flaring up right now, I need my inhaler, so I better get home. It's fairly plain again. You know what it is? It's a small paprika. That makes it so nice. Yeah, we're gonna munch into this, and I still have to upload a video. I'm just getting ready for training now. A bit careful because it is lashing rain. I've never seen it this bad in a long, long time. I have to bring spare everything really. I want to wear shorts with a pocket on them. That kind of protects my phone a bit. I'm gonna wear this Cork City Marathon one while I'm running. I like wearing these because it doesn't chafe my nipples bad. It's not cold. It's just really wet. So I'm just gonna throw on this iron on top. <laughs> on Sunday, me and Emma are going to see Snoop Dogg at the free arena up in Dublin. It's really funny actually. And I got me those tickets for my 19th birthday. I've been 23 now for the past, past three months. To be fair to him, it got cancer because of COVID and he stuck to his guns. At least he's doing the concert. Like there's a few people now we got tickets for and during COVID they completely cancelled. Niall Horan cancelled his. And we were really looking forward to that. Like he cancelled his yo. Here he is, the big man coming through, pulling through after four years. Snoop Dogg. I'd be lying to you if I said I know all his songs. I can confirm with confidence this is the worst the weather's ever been for a training session look it's good like you know let's be honest you'll get absolutely nothing done if you're not going training in ireland because it's raining changed up the, the snack today i got um nutri grain bar instead of nature valley let's do this shit oh that was not fun that was not fun I didn't take out my phone because it was way too wet well mile one was 754 mile two was 752 and mile three was 758 mile three has two massive hills in it and the wind was blowing in my face there's nothing better than getting that shit done though obviously if you want to get better you know you have to try and get out before training starts and all that but yeah i feel i believe i feel good a few people out early for training the pissing rain i absolutely love to see it i'm just gonna have this nutri grain bar with a fucking and we're gonna get this football session underway training's over very good sessions nice to see we had about like 
26, 27 people out there. What more could you ask for, really? It was lashing rain now, and we still had a really good session. Tuesday night football sessions are so fucking difficult. He loves to run us into the ground, but you know, that's, that's fucking, that's what it's all about. We're just gonna shave the beard now. That's the end of the day. Really hope you enjoyed. I overheard one of the trainers say that this week is our last week training on the AstroTurf because the clocks are going or going back or forward, whichever one it is. So we'll be on the pitch from now on. And our trainings will start at like seven, which is a reasonable time. Amazing news, unbelievable. Have a good day and I'll see you later. Goodbye.